All right. So let's talk about survivors. So we found out about the contents of the set and I really want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Are you excited about Vanquish Soul? Because you are going to have to be spending a ton of money on it. And that's also one of the topics that I wanted to talk about today. And hopefully my neighbors doing some kind of renovating does not uh, like ruin the mood <laughs> or bother you. Hopefully they stop soon, please. Um, so yeah, basically there are seven ultra rare spots dedicated to Vanquish Soul out of 10 in the set. So I think that's an important topic to discuss. And yeah, please, I would love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments. Also like the video if you like it. It really helps the channel. And if you want to support the channel in any other ways, you can check out my Patreon. And there's a ton of different extra content on there that you can unlock by pledging. So feel free to check it out. So the first topic I wanted to discuss today is, of course, the seven ultra rare slots dedicated to Vanquish Soul. I think it's an issue. And I really don't like the fact that they just saw that Vanquish Soul performed well in the OCG. Like, these sets are deck-building packs. You know, we got Runic from it, Labyrinth, Pearly. All of these sets are supposed to give us archetypes that we can play, but they are kind of paywalled out of the meta, if you really think about it, because they want to grab as much money as possible on people seeing that the deck does quite well in the OCG. And it even kind of fell off over there a little bit, so it's not that great seems kind of mid, as do some of the other things in the set. I'm personally not exactly hyped about it, although I am in interested to see how Vanquish Soul actually performs in the meta and whether or not the Dino support actually does something from for the deck. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. I also wanted to talk about another thing, which I saw a lot of talk about on Twitter. You maybe have seen these debates or participated in them as well, but people have been saying how it would be amazing if we got back old side sets where you actually had all foil sets. And I completely agree. I'm hyped about foils. I would be so excited. Like Dark Save secret slayers are the sets that first come to mind right now i'm personally not excited about buying a pack where i get seven cards one of them guaranteed a super or ultra nothing else and then maybe a collector rare like it's even hard to pull an ultra rare let alone a collector rare so i don't think it would be an issue and i don't think the community would be against having an all foil set that includes collector rare cards as well i think it would be really cool and i think the these side packs would be like like more hyped basically in the community so we all win at the end of the day so that's my take on that but talking about the actual set because I kind of bashed it a little bit like I said it does seem kind of mid but Vanquish Soul does seem interesting we can't really tell how it's going to perform here like I said it kind of fell off in the OCG a bit but it's also a cool deck just looking at it I like how it functions is this mid-range deck that basically just thrives at taking resources away from the opponent and granting you resources follow-up board presence back you get to pop monsters Monsters, you get to pop back row, bounce monsters, draw cards. It's very reminiscent of like Heat Soul drawing into, into cards and in the gaining you advantage. And you also have this cool way of granting yourself the effects by revealing earth, fire, or dark attributes in your hand. So I like it. You know, you summon the monster, you link into link one, which is a really cool card for the archetype. And then you get to play hand traps as well, like Ash, you can play Kaijus, you can play Kurikara, all of these cards that are strong and actually function together with your archetype because of their respective attributes. So I really like that. I think it's interesting and, and it does seem like it has potential, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. As for the other archetype, the Novel cards, it's Hungry Burger support and it's basically a meme for the community. I don't think we're taking these cards exactly seriously. Like ritual decks struggle in themselves and now they make another ritual archetype where Joachim was the only one after Necros that was really like cool and successful and hyped because it had a bit of a different mechanic of being summoned or however you want to put it like through their effects and I think that was cool. You need something like that in a ritual deck. Pretty much the only two good things about this archetype Three, actually. There's a cool thing about it where they're, the names are like recipes and then some kind of demon names are incorporated into the name of the card, which I found to be really cool. But yeah, the two most important things about it is the Hungry Burger Collector Rare and also the fact that we're getting a pre-prep and prep reprints because pre-prep just rose to this kind of annoying price to pick up. And now with the reprints, that's really cool. And also you can maybe even get them in Collector Rares if they are printed in that variety because we still don't know about all of the Collector Rare ones but some of the staples might be printed in that variety and also the ones I'm personally most excited about are the UCT, Archisaur and Soul Eating Over After. So 
I think these cards are gonna look amazing. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how they turn out. But since we're on the topic, let's talk about the Dino support as well. So to me, it seems that the support is interesting. However, it just feels like it's going to uh, sort of transform Dino into a bit of a different version of Dino, doing the exact same thing that the other versions are doing. So in my opinion, some of these cards might be incorporated just to get some kind of advantage, like maybe the rank 6 in the extra deck to get Misk from the banished pile. But I just really want to encourage all of you Dino lovers and pros out there to let me know how the support is going to function if you have started like testing some some kind of combos or whatever i would love to know about it because to me it just seems like i don't exactly want to be adding normal monsters to the deck they kind of seem like bricks and the cards don't seem like they give enough of a payoff for you to incorporate like bricks and these, these other cards in the deck and yeah it just seems like there might be some kind of version with these cards but people will probably just stay on the dino version that's being played right now at least in some in some way so yeah, we mentioned collector rare cards in terms of like UCT and soul eating, a lot of these cards being my personal favorites. But I would love to hear your thoughts as well, because probably some of the staples, like I said, are going to be printed as collector rare cards. And the ones that are possible picks could be Allure of Darkness, which would look really cool. There's enemy controller, the virus cards, there can be only one. Rivalry does have a collector rare printing. So them printing floodgates in collector rare is like it just seems like a personal insult to to a lot of players which i find funny but i don't know we'll see what happens and like i said let me know which are the ones you're most excited about and also if you are actually going to be buying this set or building a specific archetype and if you like this video please make sure to like it i love discussing new things with you guys and also don't forget to check out all the other social media get your cards on card market now that wild survivors dropped you can pick up cards from that set and then you can go and sleeve cheap and just sleeve them up in their products. And don't forget to use my code SHADOW at checkout so you get 5% off. And then yeah, share your thoughts about which archetype is working out for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.